Hi, welcome back. So in the last three videos, we've covered key maps, instrument mappings, different note heads, right and left hand samples, and the way those all pertain to those key maps. So now we're going to take those concepts and apply them to doing some battery writing, starting with the snare line. But first, we're actually going to change views. We're going to go from this page view over to panorama view. Um, so you can do that by selecting this panorama icon or go to view panorama or as I prefer hit shift P. Now panorama view is basically just a horizontally laid out version of the score. It takes away all the page formatting and everything and just kind of gives you a horizontally laid out version of the score. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select the snare line here and zoom on in and start writing some music. So let's start with some eighth notes. I'm going to select eighth notes on the keypad here hit my right hand hit sample which is G sharp 5 and my left hand hit sample which is F sharp 5 right hand sample left hand sample so uh, like we did on the last instrument I'm actually going to bring up my properties menu using alt command P and as I arrow through you can actually see the note head number changing there so very cool alright we're going to get rid of that properties menu for now uh, continue working back to eighth notes let's put a rim shot right here so that's going to be the 29 note head um, for those of you playing the at home game then left right left right left right left rim shot and let's go ahead and fill out the rest of this and a little eighth note release and we'll hit escape twice to deselect everything. All right, so right now we've kind of got a, a bare bones snare part going on. We actually probably want to start adding a little bit of ornamentation as far as accents, maybe some diddles uh, and that sort of thing go. We're going to start by selecting our rim shot here. Now using the plus key on the keypad, uh, I'm just gonna actually going to cycle through all of them. You can see anything for the most part that you want to add on to a note, you can cycle through here. So we're actually now back to the uh, the first keypad layout. On the fourth keypad layout, so we're on one, two, three, four, hit it three times. You'll see the marcato accent there. Go ahead and press our, our eight key on the keypad. That'll give us a marcato accent. Now if you hold down command, uh, or control on a Windows machine. We can actually select multiple objects that aren't actually in line with each other. So let's go ahead and select all those. Make those Marcato accents. Now let's go back to the first keypad layout. We can either hit the minus key uh, or come over on uh, the minus key on the keypad layout that is or click this button that'll take us back to the first keypad layout now you, see, you can see we have the accent there uh, or you can uh, use the equal key to add accents let's go ahead and select all the notes we're going to want to ac add accents on that looks good that could be a good accent let's make add an accent and that one all right and hit the equal key Cool. So we have a nice little groovy accented part going on here. Continuing on, let's go ahead and add uh, some diddles. This will be, can be found on the third keypad layout. We're just hitting the plus key twice. So one, two. There we go. Now you can see the diddles down there on the keypad layout. The using the one key uh, on the keypad, we can go ahead and add a diddle there. Add one to that first note. I actually want to go ahead and add to the rest of these notes. So I'm going to hold down the shift key to select all these notes in line. You can see I've got the uh, the full selection there. Hit the same thing. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more accents here. Or diddles, rather. Now, something we haven't covered is actually how to play back our score. If you just want to play back the entire score, uh, you can actually uh, just hit the space bar and that'll play back the whole score. Um, you can see right now I've actually got the playback line here stuck there. If we want to play it back from the beginning, we'll need to come up here and you can go to play, move playback line to selection, or uh, hit Y. So I'm actually just going to hit Y, come down here, get out of that menu, hit Y, that'll take, a, take us to the playback selection. 
Uh, or you can check out the the rest of the other options we've got up here, uh, like move playback to the line to start and go to playback line. Uh, you can experiment with those on your own. So we're going to go ahead and escape out of this and play everything we got so far and just hit the space bar to play. Cool. Or if we want to hear just the snare part or, you know, some other individual part or selection of collection of parts, just hit P. Or uh, if you wanted to hear perhaps the snare and tenor part, now, there's obviously no tenor part in here yet, uh, you could select both of those and hit P to hear both of those. All right, so that's where we're going to leave this video. Uh, next time, we'll actually be covering doing a little bit of bass drum writing. So we'll see you then.